home score in second grade with dyslexia. Homeschooling a second grader with dyslexia can actually be a lot of fun. Just look at the covers of these books. How could your child not be excited about books like these? All about pets, Minecraft fun schooling journal, hobby time adventure journal, <coughs> fun schooling spelling journal, four season spelling time, and all about ocean creatures, math, science, reading, spelling, and not only that, but we also have dyslexia games for ages five through eight. So let me get started showing you a little bit about what is in this fun schooling bundle from the thinking tree. Now, you're probably wondering, where can I find these amazing books? They are so beautiful and they look so fun. You can go to funschooling.com and when you get to funschooling.com, look for uh, shop by grade level and then look for second grade and you'll find the bundle with these books. So at the heart of fun schooling, you would have a fun schooling curriculum journal. And so your child will do a few pages from their fun schooling curriculum journal every day. And let's see what a day looks like. Let's find a day. Okay, so it starts with this date page. Today's date, a to-do list, how are you feeling, some ABCs, and then they do a nature study and a trace in color coloring time. Now, when they do the coloring time, that's a great time to listen to an audiobook or classical music. Then we have spelling time, create a comic strip, reading time, copy work. Now, when a child is using a core curriculum journal, they choose um, like uh, six books to go with it for their reading time. And so these are the books that we chose, but you can choose any book you want. You ask your child what they're interested in, or you get books about pets to go with this one. And so they'll use a few pages each day from the core curriculum journal. This is dyslexia games. They'll do two or three pages each day from the dyslexia therapy, and you can see the type of activities in these books. This one is used. These are all activities that help dyslexic kids to um, learn how to read, write, and spell without, and without confusion. It's a brain training therapy. Very fun. Kids love it. The great thing about the dyslexia games therapy is that kids don't need help from parents to do this. Like all the other dyslexia therapies, you have to hire a tutor or you have to do a whole lot of work. This is all intuitive and it uses creativity and logic. Now, then we have this uh, all about ocean creatures, math, science, spelling, and reading. And I'll just flip through a few pages in here. If your child can't read yet, you would read the little poems to them and do the activities together. And I just want to encourage you that if your child isn't able to read well, there's nothing wrong with reading for them as they follow along. And if they have a trouble writing, it's okay for you to go ahead and have them dictate what they want to write while they watch you write. Because especially with dyslexic kids, they need to see adults writing for them to be able to learn by example of how to write. Now, once they are finished with the dyslexia games, then they would start on a spelling journal. And these use the dyslexic font. And once again, we have poems because kids with dyslexia turn to tend to learn really well with poems, with coloring in words, and with doing copy work. And so this is a great way to really develop their reading skills. This one is just a lot of fun. Dyslexic kids are so creative. And um, often they love Legos, Minecraft, animals. And so this Hobby Time Adventure Journal it has creative story writing, coloring book, make your own comics, calendars, and Minecraft art. So they'll have a picture, and then there's a place to write a story and to create a comic. 
And if your child isn't ready for writing at the beginning, I would encourage you to have them dictate their story. You write it down for them. And maybe it could just be like three sentences. You write it down and then they copy you and then they make the comic. There's a lot of really cute pictures in here that can inspire some great stories. Don't let your dyslexic child be limited by his or her struggles with reading and writing. They are often amazing storytellers, but they can't write their stories. They need you to help them write their stories. They have uh, a lot of times love learning, but they struggle with reading. So you'll want to use documentaries and read out loud to them or have them listen to audiobooks so that you don't hold them back in their learning. And this is another spelling journal that they'll use in the second semester. This is a full year's worth of curriculum for a dyslexic second grader. And for the second semester, they would use this spelling journal. And you need to really, truly remember that when you're teaching a dyslexic child, your example is very, very important. So feel free to do a couple pages with them so they see how you form each letter. A lot of times parents are on computers and phones and they never actually see us doing much writing in real life. How can they learn to write if they never see us writing? You want to have some exciting coloring and art supplies to go along with these books and then I would encourage you to use blocks, manipulatives, Legos, and maybe um, even a Minecraft game along with the curriculum because kids, especially dyslexic kids and kids with ADHD, they need to do an academic activity and then it needs to be followed by a creative or passive activity. So do some academics and play with Legos and blocks, do some academics and do some coloring. This book uh, skips back and forth between academic activities and creative or passive or active activities. And that's really important because dyslexic kids can get burnt out really fast. And I'll just show you what books are in our, our fun schooling basket for second grade. You can use so many different things and these are just the ones that are perfect for us. Now, maybe you don't let your kids play Minecraft or they don't play Minecraft, and that's fine. There are so many different fun schooling journals that are not about Minecraft, but this one is just super fun and super cute, and you don't even have to play Minecraft to enjoy the book. Another thing that's not included in the Thinking Tree curriculum bundle is math. So you'll want to add your own math book or math program. A lot of people love using online math programs like Khan Academy, or Prodigy, so um, whatever works for you and works for your child is going to be your best choice. So these books uh, from this bundle are available at funschooling.com and then to go along with it for reading time and spelling time, you would just use whatever books you have around the house at the library, go to the bookstore, get on Amazon, order some books, go see your Usborn dealer and get some Usborn books. There are so many different options and homeschooling a dyslexic child can be so much fun. Dyslexic children have amazing gifts and incredible talents. And as a parent of several dyslexic children, I know the value of focusing on their talents, their interests, their abilities. So thanks for watching and just visit funschooling.com to learn more and to get started. These uh, bundles are available for charter schools. They are um, they are approved. We're uh, like Thinking Tree is an approved vendor for Inspire and iLead charter schools. So it's a great option for charter school families as well as uh, any homeschool family. It's also fun for summer. See you later. Bye-bye.